Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two. This is your daily go getemism number nine hundred and fifty one for May eleventh, two thousand and seventeen. Today, today we're talking about comparing, comparing things to other things. You know, in your life, you always want to compare certain things. You you compare what you used to do when you were younger to what you do now. You may compare your health of when you were younger to how it is now, how quick your recovery time was when you were younger compared to now, your level of wilderness, how wild you were when you were younger compared to now. And I, and I imagine that it's possible for some people to be wilder now than they were before. You know, maybe they were really reserved early in their lives because they were restricted or because they were afraid. And now, you know, maybe now they uh, are able to spread their wings a little bit and, and have been released from from protective custody or whatever. But anyway, so, you know, when you compare things, when you compare things in your world, in your life, first of all, you have the you have every right to do that. And sometimes it's a good thing to do that. You compare one thing to another, you can be looking for value. And it's always a good thing to look for value. Make sure that you get more bang for your buck, especially when you're talking about when you're talking about your money. You know, uh, when you're talking about your money, let's say you work at a job and maybe you compare the money that you're making now or the job that you have to do now compared to the money that you were making at a previous job and and the money that you could be making at an upcoming job. And that's how you make an assessment on whether you should stay or go. Long days, I mean, long gone are the days when there was job loyalty, when there was employee loyalty, when there was employer loyalty to the to the employee. Those days are gone and they're not returning. So basically you have to do whatever it is, whatever it is that's necessary in order to make sure that you get as much money for doing the least amount of work as possible. Because that's what jobs do to you. They make sure, they make sure that they can pay a qualified person the least amount of money and get the greatest amount of output. So you have to sort of do everything that they do, but in reverse. You have to shop around for the best deal. And in order to shop around for the best deal, in order to get the right deal, you have to compare. It's not like back in the day, you say, well, you know what I mean? I'm going to stay in the box. I'm going to stay loyal because they looked out for me. Now I'm going to look out look out for them. Ain't no more looking out. And it's a sad thing that, it, that there really is no more looking out, but it's the truth. And it's something that we have to deal with. Now, and in order to deal with it, you're probably going to reach that conclusion by comparing. Well, this one gives me this much, and this one is giving me that much. I used to get this much. Now I'm only getting this much, or I used to only get this much, and now I'm getting all of this. So I'm not going back here, but I'm staying here. And maybe I might go over there because they give me this much. Where comparison really gets in the way is when, when you start comparing people. People in your personal lives, people in your romantic lives, people in your family. When you start saying that, well, well this one used to do this for me, and this one does this for me. And you don't you only do this or you won't do that or whatever. And that's when people start looking at you real sideways. Because don't nobody want to hear that. Now that's not to say that it's not ever necessary for it to be done. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do something. There's a right way and a wrong way to do all things. There's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. I keep sweating it. But anyway, but it's true. So if you have if you have a woman or you have a man and you start talking about what your ex used to do for you, you can just be ready to have a whole lot of problems with your current with your current situation. Because it's just not a good thing to do. Even if it's true, that's not a good thing to do. It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. And a lot of people cause problems in their relationships because they want to do the, those kind of things. They want to compare. They'll compare this one to that one. Or even when they when they are smack dab in a relationship and they tell and they tell you what somebody else does for their partner, for their spouse. As if 
as if that has any bearing on what goes on in your home. Communication is so important. And when you communicate, when you miscommunicate, think it that you're really communicating effectively. And I guess miscommunication is a way of, a, of, of effectively communicating something that's just going to cause a whole lot of problems. See, just because, it's, just because it's an argument doesn't necessarily mean that you're not communicating. It just means that you're not com communicating in a way that is favorable to the both of you. It can get in the way. It can really, really get in the way. So I wouldn't recommend that you do that, you know, regardless of how bad things get, unless you, you're ready to break up or unless you're ready to have a whole lot of problems going forward. And some people can't even help it. They, they'll make sure that they throw a monkey wrench in, in, in their romantic plans because they can't control their mouth. It is what it is. It's not good, though. So, you know, the best thing that I can say is when it comes to your money, always compare. Always compare. Don't ever stop comparing. But when it comes to your heart, I would say put the brakes on that. Watch your mouth. Watch the language that you use because feelings get hurt. And sometimes when feelings get hurt, people get hurt. Sometimes they get hurt. Sometimes they get hurt physically and sometimes, a lot of times, very often times, they get hurt emotionally. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to go there. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard. Go for yours. And remember, when it comes to your money, compare all the time. Don't, don't become loyal to any job or any store or anything like that unless they're doing something for you. Make your money. Make money. Make your money either save money or make more money. But when it comes to matters of the heart, if you're going to compare, make sure you do it inside here with this closed. Inside here with this closed. No, no funny one. Hey, we taking care of my man. No one's doing that shit though. You need to like get on his job. Shorty always looking out for her, man. Why don't you look out for me? Why don't you look out for me for once in your life? Anyway. The Daily Go Get a Business Show is every single day. 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun 752. Peace. And you say New York City.